Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. Well, it's Wednesday and that means it's Mystery Wednesday. So, let's mix up the... Oops, we lost one. We had a, we had a jumper. Hang in there. I guess I was too close to the edge there. Sorry about that. Alright, let's pick one. Make sure they're all apart here. What's it going to be? Diamond painting or stitching? And let me pick one. And the winner is... The Beaded Tiger. Alright. I will be back in a few minutes with the Beaded Tiger, which is a beaded cross stitch. Be right back. Alright, I am back with my Beaded Tiger. It's been a while. It's been a moment. We're going to use number one here. Woo. Got everything flying. So, what's everybody up to today? Hope everybody's having a good day. It's kind of gray and cloudy. It's supposed to snow later on. It said it was going to snow less than an inch. So, we'll see. We will see. Yeah, it's been a while since I've worked on this thing. So, it'll take me a moment. It's just so cloudy today and dark. Usually the sun's shining here, so... It's not today, so I thought, well, I'll just do this video earlier. Because usually I have to wait about an hour or so. What in the world was that? I have no idea. Not a clue. Okay. Sorry about that. But I thought I'd just get some of this done. And I put it in the mix because I don't get it out very often. It's on a frame. Which is cool. Because I don't think I could do this in hand. It just would drive me insane. And that way I can, like, roll it wherever it needs to be rolled to work on. And I really wanted to work on the tiger, so that's why it's all the way up here on the tiger tail. I figured it's going to take us, like, an eternity to get to the other part. I, I'm one of those people, you know, in that stupid commercial, you know, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll? <laughs> well, yeah. Mine is, uh, how many days and months and years is it going to take me to get to the actual main thing and not do the, never do the, the centerpiece of the, the fabric here. So, the, I just started working on his tail, oh, a couple months ago. So... I've had it sitting over there. It was before Christmas, I know. I just hadn't felt like working on it, and I had some other things in the mix, and, you know, it is what it is. I damn near got out my, uh, the very first uh, beaded cross stitch that I bought, like, back in March. And it's a full, what do you call it, a full full coverage beaded one I can't remember if it's flowers or or the peacocks I I can't remember it's been a while so yeah and then I thought no not so much it's at the bottom of my my uh, diamond painting thing because it's so big I bought a small container you know like big container for my uh, cross stitch. I know that didn't make sense. But I have a bigger one for the diamond painting because some of them are quite long. So, just started stitching on other things and yeah. So I spent most of the night last night working on yin and yang because I just 
I worked in the morning, let's preface that with uh, his eyes on the sparrow, and I'm not real happy. I think it's going to be too big. I'm kind of debating whether or not to buy, you know, some uh, smaller size fabric. Because the other one is just huge. Just huge, gigantuous. So, I, I don't know. I, I started on the border and it just looks huge. So, I may go to 123 Stitch and buy some uh, 16 count Ada. I know that's going to knock it down a little bit, but not too much. But I'm just, just not feeling it, guys. I'm, I'm mad. I'd have all that 14 count Ada, which I can probably use for something else. Whether I will or not will be remain to be seen. I haven't worked on my uh, beaded peacock for a while. It's just so small, and I don't know if I'm trying to get sick or what the heck. I just haven't felt it, you know. So I, I'm just kind of at a wishy-washy stage, so you'll have to forgive me there. I hope you can see this. My lamp is only so tall, and I tried to get it as close as I could. There's some purple in there as well. I'm trying to stitch around it. Come on. Please. So whether this ever gets done, it will. I don't know. I'm kind of into sti regular stitching lately, so I don't know. It'll be what it'll be if it it's going to be there, you know. We've already purchased all the crap that goes with this. But, uh, just haven't felt like doing beaded anything. Although, I can work on both of these, you know, sitting down on the couch. and Just, I don't know. So much to do and so much that I want to stitch. And some of it, when I get it, it's taking forever, so... I know. If I wouldn't buy such big projects, then we wouldn't have so many problems, right? Ah, come on. I saw um, Rachel Ray the other day working on her um, beaded cross stitch, and uh, what is her name? Oh, jeez. <sighs> Junik? I don't know that that... If I, mispronounce your name I'm so sorry she's doing a big one too and she's got it in a frame which is nice I think both her and Rachel Ray have theirs but they're regular you know like like check beads we'll call them that just <coughs> for lack of what they are um, you know, the glass beads instead of the plastic beads. Don't get me wrong, I think they're beautiful, but you can only just do so much. If we can get a tiger stripe done today, you know, I feel like I almost accomplished something. But I keep switching off, you know, on projects left and right, so, just working on first one thing, then another, whatever appeals to me, which is okay, it kind of keeps you interested and makes a little progress on each one, I'm, about the most consistent thing I've done this week is work on yin and yang, whoops, I missed, I can see the holes now, hang on, not like that's going to show up. Come on. Oh, for pity's sake. There we go. I could see it. I just couldn't find it. So, not much happening on my days off this week. Because I have to find out about the stupid jury duty this week. 
Oh, it just drives me insane. Could anybody else think of anything stupider than for me to do? <sighs> I've enough problems just getting to work. And then it's going to snow, and we never know if it's going to snow less than an inch or ten feet. You know, so... <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Where is that frickin'... Okay, we're just going to make it easier. Let's just come down here where I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm using two strands of DMC white, 5200. I don't know if I've said that before or not, but that's what I use on these. I think it nails them a little bit better. And besides that, I don't want to fight that stupid white thread. I use it on the, um, what do you call it? The peacock, and it's going really well. It's like a difference, but it don't want to work at all on this eight. We'll call it Ada cloth. Uh, I think it's nine count Ada or eleven. Eleven? No, it's not eleven. It's nine count Ada cloth. So. I just use the DMC floss for these kind of things. But when it's on that, we'll call it silky satin fabric, that thin thread works beautifully. And I use two strands of it on my peacock. And it goes okay. I just have to be in the mood to do it. And it's done with glass check beads, my peacock. I don't think I have a lay-in right here anywhere. No, probably not. I haven't worked on it for a couple of weeks. So I just keep plugging away and doing what I want. And I never really go anywhere other than work, and I can't do the, the stitching at work. Because, as you know, I can't see it, and I have to do it with my glasses off and up close. I can't wear magnifier at work. So, it stays home. I really wish I could take it because I could get some freaking progress done with the dang thing. But. Oh well. It is what it is. I just feel like it's kind of a waste of eight hours. I mean, uh, I go and somebody pays me to, to be there, but get up a little bit. There we go. So, it's just kind of boring, so I'd really like to have a project to do. I'm not one to stay on my silly phone for hour upon hour, but I found I have to do that. Now I do a little bit of work. I mean, what work that there is to do. You know, you have to wait on people, of course, but it's just... The, um, you know, like, we'll call it side work. It's not much, you know, so you can get it done about an hour and a half. And, you know, like, keep the, the food on the little roller thing, you know, but it's not, it's not pure work. You know, you're, 90% of it is standing there or sitting there. So, I have to find something that'll work when I do that, so. So I read sometimes, and sometimes I just work on work. I look at YouTube and see who's putting on videos, because I can get the internet. But it's just boring, 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 boring. But I know in the summertime, it's not going to be boring. It'll be, whoops anything but boring in the summer so yay oh yay whoops that was swell it slid right off the thing right back into the container oh, we almost got this brown part done in the tail it's coming along been kind of sneezy-wheezy this week, 
And I, like I said last week, I couldn't sleep worth a damn, so I'm playing catch up this week. Which has not been fun. I laid down last night for two hours, took a nap, got up, was up for about three more hours, went back to bed, and slept eight. So it, it's trying to catch up. So, yay. Okay, now this ought to be fun. Let's see if I can find the hole over here. Wrong hole. There's two beads that have to go right in there. Let's see if we can get them puppies in there. There's one. Oh, do come on. And then I can get rid of that silly thread. Of course, there's two hooked together. Okay, get that out of my way. And put that back down there. Okay, hang on. We're going for it. Oh, God. I got so much stuff on my desk. Needs to clean off my desk. I got my dresser cleaned off yesterday. Woohoo! Because it was a nightmare. So I got that taken care of. Not much else, because I would just... I'm putting the needle right here. Oh, I got my bear. Okay. Sometimes I have a needle minder, sometimes not so much. Hang on, guys. Gotta get it another cutter. Let's get number two. Well, that's hard. Just do this color right next to it. Oh, goodness. For a little bit. Another case of they put it, them putting um, colors right together. My scissors under there. Whoops, come back here, thread. <sighs> come on. Still haven't looked up those uh, little shapes, shall we call them? I don't know what to call them. On Amazon that I was going to buy that were hopefully about the same size as my little bear here um, to make some uh, needle minders because I got tons of um, what do you call it um, magnets to make them because I bought like two or three different sizes and then I bought like a whole container of um, big ones so that I could put them on things that big and I haven't found anything at our thrift store and we haven't been to the big thrift store because other stuff's been happening so yeah it whoops and I kind of want to do that the needle minders that E6000 stinks and I don't want to be in a closed area with it. It just smells bad. It's kind of like when I used to use um, what do you call that? Acrylic cover for my um, acrylic paintings. Oh, that stuff would just reek the house. I would go out on the porch, spray it on there, let them dry, and then come back in with the paintings, you know, after they dried, because it was Kansas, and I didn't want bugs to attach themselves. And the house would just smell. It just drove me nuts. It would give me such bad headaches. So, I'm not real fond of using that E6000 in the house. So I thought maybe that would be like a spring or summer project, and we could sit out on the porch and put some together. Come on. We'll see. We will see. Because they don't take long to make. It's just 
I don't want to deal with that glue. I don't know. So it's like on the back back burner. Just. God. I don't know why I'm yawning. Sorry about that. So I got a few things to, to do in the summer that's going to require being outside. So we'll get to them when we get to them. But right now we're just closed in so dang much. Whoops. Of course I have to hit that, right? You knew I would. I haven't dumped my beads yet, but, you know, it, it could happen still. So, other than that, not not much going on here. It's kind of the dead of winter here. The snow still hasn't melted off from when we had that great big snow. And I think I showed it. It was like, what, before Christmas? So it's melting off in spots, but not not too terribly fast. I still have an ice field I have to walk across to get from the house to my car and etc. So went out there the other day when it was melting and drew lines so that it would drain out of my little parking area. But not going very fast. And yesterday it was cold and windy and it said it was 30 some degrees but it felt like you know it was one of those days so not too happy about yesterday even the dog didn't even want to go out we didn't do much of anything but stay inside and stitch I pretty much stitched all day <coughs> I'd take like a 45 minute break you know have lunch or have dinner and in between there I just stitched and watched Grey's Anatomy or stuff on floss tube that kept coming you know people kept downloading and sometimes I just need to be a couch potato and Molly she agrees she's out cold today I think I kept her up too long well silly thing had two peeds stuck together there. Oh, goodness. But I'm really liking working on yin and yang. I've almost got the phoenix done. I don't know what it is. Just all of a sudden, want to do it. Got to do it. Do it now. So I've just been sewing like a little maniac on that. Probably non-stop for about a week now. Ever since I got the conversion threads, and I'm really thrilled with that. May have to go buy some extra color, but, you know, I mean, as far as the red and the, the black goes. But that's okay. And I'm not buying anything of any consequences in between there. I just haven't been inspired, shall we say. Get in there, you little puppy. I'm trying to tell the difference here between the... They've got pink and red together, so I'm trying to do all the reds. Just kind of going in and out and around. Oh, i got to have that one. And, and the lighting is so not the best. I, I hope you can see what I'm working on. But uh, And the beads are big enough. You know, I would suggest this to anybody, but my first suggestion would be don't buy something big. You know, unless you're, you know you can finish it. Because this is, I'll be working on these until I'm 112. You know, I'm planning on living there. I just, I don't know. Because I don't work on a consistent consistent consistently enough to make too much pro oh of course what is your problem oh uh oh we're stuck 
it happens. But usually this uh, thread does not, um, you know, like tangle up. I just get a piece that's about 14 inches and, and go for broke. And sometimes I get longer, but it usually doesn't, um, what do you call it? Tangle up, you know, and snarl and curl up on me. Oh, that white, that, we'll call it fishing line stuff. Just horrible on this. So, I don't know if it has to go such a far distance or what. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's going to be oops, about it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your Wednesday. And a good rest of your week. God bless. Bye-bye.